Hello all, welcome to Tech Tap Chat. In this video, we are going to see about uh, what is FRML and what is static IP in GCP. So in last video, we already seen what is internal and external IP in GCP. So the FRML and static are available in both the type of IP like in internal also you will have static and FRML and in external also you will have static and FRML IP. So without confusing you more on a theoretical part i will quickly go to my cloud console and i'll show you what is a formal and what is static ip so i'll just create one instance called a demo and once i go to networking tab here in network setting okay i'll go to this networking and here you could see the network interface so currently it is default i'll just expand it and it is default network and subnet is default ipv4 with this range so what is the ip range here or cidr range 10.128.0.0 so i can use a static ip as well as a formal if i go here here you could see for internal also you have two option that is a formal and so in custom you can use static so currently here you have this static internal IP address so you have a formal as well as static in private or internal as well in external also you will have a formal as well as static so currently it is not showing you static because you didn't have any static IP reserved in your project so I'll show you that also so if I choose a formal it will take any IP range for external IP and for internal it will take any IP range from this 10.128.0.0 slash 20 so i'll just quickly create a virtual machine so it will be created with the two ip address one is internal ip and one is external ip okay so now these are a formal ip address like they are randomly assigned to your virtual machine so just take an example of this uh, external IP address. So I'll just log in into the virtual machine and I will create one simple web application inside my virtual machine. Okay, I'll just log in as a sudo and I have command to create a simple web application and simple HTML page. So I'll just copy and paste. Okay, now it is available. So let me check the external IP address. So I will simply copy this external IP address. Okay, so this is my simple web application or a website. Now I want to just use this application for public use. I won't be using this IP address. So what I will do, I will buy one domain. So domain may be something like www.xyz.com because it's not easy to remember the IP address so you always remember only your website names and you will create a entry in a DNS so DNS is nothing but your mapping of your domain name as well as your IP address so suppose if I want to create one a domain so I'll just simply go here okay and just take an example so suppose I want to create one domain I will simply create like www.xyz.com and that I will map in DNS to a one of the IP address so suppose we will take example of the IP address this so I will just map this to the IP address and whenever I open www.xyz.com it will give the result of this IP address so that is a DNS mapping now when I stop this virtual machine what will happen as this is a formal IP it will change when I start for a next time so just make a note, the, note of this IP address I will just make note here so you already have this 132 open so I will just restart my virtual machine so your external IP will change so just keep eye here I am just stopping my virtual machine
now you could see your external IP is disappeared and you will have only internal IP available when your machine is stopped okay now if I start my virtual machine it will be created using a new external IP address that will be again a formal a formal means it will just dynamically assign you a available IP from the ranges so now you could see it's available with a 163 now what will happen if I replace this page now so it won't show me any result and if I restarted my machine now I have this IP address so what I have to do I have to again map this IP address in a DNS against this a website so every time I restart my virtual machine I have to update IP address in a DNS and that is not a easy task because every time I have to update this IP address in all configuration it is both for internal as well as external IP address so I have to update whenever I restart the virtual machine in all configuration so suppose I am using this IP while connecting to my database I am using this while connecting to any other application then every time I restart I have to update this external IP so to avoid this we can use a static IP so how we can use a static IP so suppose I will copy this IP and I will open new tab and I will reserve this IP so to use a feature of static IP you have to reserve this IP address so I will just go to networking so from here also you can go to networking VPC network you can go to VPC network you can go to IP addresses so here you could see currently this IP address your machine is using is a formal one so your machine is currently using 163 so this is a formal so I want to reserve this IP address so I will simply so I will just click on reserve static IP address I will just give name as my app okay and I will just select IPv4 region I will select US central one and attached to I will select already it is attached to demo so I will just click on reserve and now let me show you so it will currently it is showing a formal now it will change to static 163 will change to static let me refresh okay so which is 245 let me see if it is assigned to a demo so this is 163 let me refresh okay it just changed 245 now because it was not completely restarted when we check so let me refresh it so earlier it was 132 while restarting it was 163 and when it was completely restarted it was 254 so we reserved this 254 now okay now suppose if I restart this virtual machine now this IP address won't disappear or won't change so let me show that if I stop it now let me refresh it's still stopping yeah it is stopped and you still see the external IP address is not changed it's still here and let me start the VM now even though it will be the same as we are using the static address so let me refresh okay now your virtual machine is started and you can just reload the same URL and you don't need to change anything in your configuration